I think that the structural problems that we're bumping up against are epic. Tonight, Salem City Council voting to move forward with a difficult budget proposal for next year. All this comes after contentious budget season and threats to cut major services to parks and libraries. Elise Haas monitored the latest decision from Salem City leaders. A lot of emotion with this. I mean, they're talking about big cuts, Elise. Of course, these are things that we rely on as citizens, right? So up until this vote, Jeff, there was protests and hours of public outcry to save the library and park services and all of the family-friendly events that come with it. The city of Salem is grappling with a budget shortfall, though, for the next year. But with some creativity, they seem to come to a resolution, but they know it is just a Band-Aid for the time being. The city of Salem is moving forward with a nearly $730 million budget after heated debates among constituents and counselors in recent weeks. Now, the citizens of Salem came to council to applaud their leaders for listening to their needs to save library and park services. They are essential services now and will be in the future. They are needed for the community to thrive and for the growth and wellness of everyone, youth, families, seniors, and businesses. They are truly community centers. We want to thank Mayor Hoy for coming up with a plan to fund our library at the current depleted level for one year as we all work together to find adequate funding to restore full library service for all Salem residents. The budget proposal saves eight library employees, but not all cuts were averted. A couple of jobs were lost from other departments. But I, I don't want to wa us or the community to walk away from this thinking that like the work is done or that this is in any way good news. City leaders stressed the funding was a one-time fix Harsher cuts will be on the horizon next year if more revenue streams aren't created. I feel like the Budget Committee did a, a very good job in a really difficult situation. Mayor Chris Hoy said he doesn't think anyone should feel good about this budget, but that it was the best they could do with the circumstances they had. City Council voted to move forward with the current budget recommendations and amendments. They're scheduled to adopt the budget on June 24th.